We've begun preparing to repeal and replace Obamacare. Obamacare is a disaster, folks. It's a disaster. Donald Trump's promise to repeal and replace the Affordable Care Act, or Obamacare, was a central part of his campaign. Now that Trump's in office, he and Republican members of Congress are trying to figure out exactly how to repeal Obama's flagship policy. We still don't know exactly how they're going to handle this, but many patients are already worried about losing Obamacare's protection for pre-existing medical conditions. They say that without that protection, people might not be able to get insurance and medical care, and that some may actually die. Before we get started, it's important to note that this doesn't affect people who get their coverage through their employers. It's only about people who are buying on the individual insurance market. So what exactly is a pre-existing condition? These are medical conditions that started prior to a person's health insurance going into effect. Before the ACA, insurers selling individual policies could refuse coverage to someone with pre-existing health issues or charge them more. Many common conditions that Americans face are considered pre-existing conditions. For example, asthma, which 25 million Americans have, is a pre-existing condition. So is diabetes, which affects 30 million Americans. Conditions like kidney disease, arthritis, and even alcohol and drug abuse also fall under this category. Many people in the cancer community could feel the effects of any change to these patient protections. 38% of women and 41% of men will get cancer in their lifetimes, and every survivor is considered as having a pre-existing condition. More than 15 and a half million people in the United States are being treated for cancer or have had cancer in the past. And cancer drugs are expensive and can cost $10,000 a month. Republicans in Congress are writing legislation that will deal with pre-existing conditions. One idea is to require people to stay continuously covered or face a penalty. Another is to set up special state insurance pools for people with the biggest medical bills. Whatever comes out of Congress could affect a large proportion of the 20 million people who are now covered by the Affordable Care Act. 